Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today we have 3D awesomeness. From Autodesk, welcome to Geek Beat. Guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Geek Beat. Yes, we are gonna Can have all excitement? sorts of fun. You look very excited, John. I'm actually extremely excited. I'm trying to contain it. <laughs> You're doing a little too good of a job there. Yeah. yeah, so we have two full days here at the Geek House of 3D goodness. We called it. 3D Palooza. Yes, we did. And you can actually see all the other coverage if you're just watching this video by going to geekbeat.tv forward slash 3D Palooza. Exactly. Do I need to spell it for him, Dave? <laughs> I think no, he's got it. No, it's right there. Right, right there. there. 3D Palooza, right there. And we have some special guests to help us explain what we all do. this 3D awesomeness is about. We, we have from Autodesk, Dominique and Guillermo. No, sorry. No. Guillermo. 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 Much better. Guillermo. Much better. Because you are because from, you're from South America. Uruguay. You're wow. from Uruguay. Proud Uruguayan, yes. And we don't say Guillermo there. You get that's killed. Like, you get killed? That's right. Oh, that's, no. Is that like French or something? <laughs> no, that, that's French. I'm the French guy. I know, but I mean. Uh, no, he's the French. I am. No, no, I'm not. So I'm just wondering, do we need to separate the two of you? Or yeah. is it going to be okay? Very good friends. Okay, good. All right. Well, I don't know about that because as I understand it, we have, may have a little bit of a rivalry going on here between uh, Autodesk products, but I guess I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, there's no rivalry, right? <laughs> so, so we have a couple of really cool products to talk about um, from the consumer side and the pro division. Uh, so we're going to get into all of that. But first and foremost, thank you guys for coming in, and let's describe kind of what's been going on over the last couple of days because you guys made it possible for all these different companies that we're talking to today, or if you're watching later over the next few days, um, come in and scan the geek house with all sorts of laser technology. And I didn't even know there were that many ways to scan anything, but they've been I doing know. photos, lasers, co sure. quadcopters, yeah. Uh, I, probably some secret stuff that we couldn't even see. I and don't know. And then, of know. course, the Autodesk software has been taking all of that that digital information, bringing it in, and completing the process. Yeah. And it's been super awesome and super geeky around here. It has. So thanks, guys. Yeah. So super 3D cool. in general has really just hit... What's that phrase? Hit the hay storm? Hit the... Hit sure, the, yeah, that's a new what? phrase. Yeah. Just tweet that guy. Hit a high note? <laughs> Overheard at Kelly Hurt Lewis. Hit the hay storm. <laughs> I don't Hit know it. what that means, <laughs> but let's make it so. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, over the last few years, it has really come yeah. to its own, right? Yeah. Everybody's got access now, right? Yeah. Everybody can do it. You can, <clears throat> that's the whole it's point. It's not yeah, something you have to see Steven Spielberg. You can yeah. do yeah. You can yeah. do it yourself. It's not yeah. science fiction anymore. Yeah. 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 But still, Autodesk is a world leader, you know, in 3D design, uh, say entertainment, engineering software. We're mostly known for AutoCAD, uh, mostly known for 3ds Max on Maya, but we have much many other software. Yeah, and we're going to get a peek at, at some of the other stuff. Yeah. Um, but as part of kind of you guys coming out and doing all of this, uh, Autodesk has sponsored this cool, you know, 3D RV yeah. tour around the country, and we're going to talk to TJ about that particular okay. piece later. Um, but in, in one of the things that you guys do is do these reality computing um, meetups and events yeah. throughout yeah. the the country. Yeah. What is reality uh, computing? Okay. What does that mean yeah. exactly? So reality computing is a very new term that uh, Autodesk invented, but trying to push into the industry. Uh, it's all about, you know, uh, uh, capturing reality, being able to compute based on reality data, and being able to create meaningful experiences based on this reality data, okay? So the, the main concept is, instead of starting from a blank sheet of paper, why don't you start from the reality as it exists? Because the world is your best model. So how does the reality computing differ from the other types of computing we do? I mean, for, in, from your perspective, 
Is it that it requires different or specialized hardware or processing capabilities, yeah. or is it mainly just about the data models that we, we use? It's both, because when with reality computing, you must start from reality. So you need to digitize the real world, either with laser scanning, photogrammetry, or handheld devices, okay? So it really is starting to boom because this kind of devices are becoming, uh, say, much cheaper, easier to use. Now you can access reality data, and then you can build t on top of reality data. That was not possible like a few years ago. Cool. So we're gonna get get an understanding of what that means. Yeah. So you guys, um, I mean, I mean, you know, as we were talking about it, it's kind of opened up to uh, the world, as you mentioned, like with the iPad. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have. And you An iPad, device. and you're using that to capture and, and work uh, with 3D. Is, is, has 3D become essentially you, commoditized? Is it, is it democratized? It is getting democratized, which is amazing. And the good thing is that Autodesk has, again, 30 years of IP of great technology, right, through R&D or through acquisitions. And, uh, and the good thing is that what Dominique's going to show first, going mostly to professionals, it's the same, pretty much the same back end as what we can see later for, for consumers, yeah. right? So it's just the way we package things for, that become appropriate for different audiences, right? Right. So I maybe just suggest that, that he can start amazing show us. us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, show us some it. amazement. Okay. The, the thing that I remember the most <laughs> is yesterday you were walking around with that little Sony camera you've yeah. got there. Yeah. It's just a digital and camera. I thought we were doing a 3D event here. Yeah, yeah. So let me start from the beginning. So okay. the, the device we've been using yesterday about, you know, we scanned the Geek House uh, uh, TV, yeah. so the place here, was using a laser scanning. So laser scanning is still quite an expensive equipment, but it's getting cheaper and cheaper. Mm -hmm. So this is a kind of result you would get from laser scanning. Okay, so you will go from a various vantage points with a laser scanner, and then you will create a really a 3D point cloud. So this Move it is, around a little bit for yeah. us. Oh, so nice. see. Wait, you, point cloud. What exactly yeah. does point cloud mean? This is a point cloud, okay? In fact, all these panoramic views become a point cloud that you can navigate in. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, that's see? what a point cloud is. This Look is at that. This is a point cloud, okay? So that's even more awesome than the other part. <laughs> yeah. That's what, I guess what, that's what it's like to be Superman and have x-ray vision. Ooh. Exactly. But at, at, at any time, you can stop and have more information about about this. So uh, this is what we call a point cloud. This has been created by this uh, scanning device. Mm -hmm. But again, this is mostly for what we call BIM or say uh, very heavy uh, industrial equipment, uh, say architecture stuff. We can also use this kind of device. So either handheld or being on a, on, on a drone, on a UAV. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me show you what we did with this guy on a UAV. So we also flew the UAV over the building. Yeah. Okay. And this is a, this is a data we created. Holy mama. <laughs> okay. So I guess later you will have a, a talk about the UAVs, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. We're going to talk to but them. So after you have flown the UAV over the, over the we took about, uh, say, maybe 100 photos uh -huh. here. We process that automatically using the power of cloud computing. And then you get this kind of result. Okay. That is. <laughs> Paul Dixon wants to turn this into a, a, a game. Yeah, we call it exactly. Geek House Doom. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I also use this guy. So That's I, our Han Solo frozen in carbonite. Yeah. Exactly. So by taking a series of photos around this object or this statue, we also created this uh, very beautiful 3D model of the. Wow. Okay. Wow, that is really cool. Now they don't even have to visit the Geek House to see them. But I want them to. I want yeah, them to come they by need to come and see sign it. The wall, but, but they can't. They don't. If they can't get here, you can that's right. see this stuff yeah. in person. Absolutely. I mean, on the computer in person. Yeah, now, how much detail can you get out of that thing? Oh my God, you get very highly detailed because this has like something like twenty megapixel sensor. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. So for every pixel of the sensor, you'll get a point in space. Okay. So you can be very, very detailed. Okay. So I guess as detailed as how big you want the file size to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> on how, how, how big the sensor as well. So it's all connected. Yeah. Okay. So this is the kind of stuff. Then once you have created that, uh, then you can take this in you know, Autodesk software for video games, yeah. for visual effects, for architecture work, for whatever you want. Very so cool. How many how many photos did you take roughly? Do you think to to create the old Han Solo right there? Uh, Probably 50 to 80. Okay. okay. And I also added a few close-ups for the face okay. to have a better definition or better mm -hmm. resolution on the face. So people can really zoom in on that. Exactly. We can really zoom in very and do you have? Closely. You said the other one gave us a point cloud for the laser yeah. scanning. Yeah. Do you 
Do also you get, get something a point like that cloud with, with this? Yeah, there are two types of reality data. One is this one, which is what we call a mesh. So these are polygons with texture mapping, okay, as you find in video games mostly. Uh -huh. uh, but we also can create a photo-based point cloud, which has a similar structure than what you get from a laser scanner. So a set of XYZ coordinates in space with a color. Okay. Can we see him in, in, uh, in polygon point. mode or whatever it uh, is? This, is? this is a polygon model, okay. yes, yeah, so I can try to find, okay, this should be the one. And what software are we using again? Uh, this is Recap 360, so this is a professional version. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can see it's, the... And who, who would use this? Like, what, who's Me. this meant for? Yeah. I want to use this. <laughs> so this is mostly the professional version of a, a technique that we call photogrammetry, mm -hmm. okay, so which is about taking a series of photos, making a 3D model out of it. Um, this is used by the visual effects industry, the video game, people willing to create avatars. But also, as we saw, you know, people flying UAVs yeah. and creating models of buildings or, you know, piles or mines, something okay. like that. Very industrial stuff. Okay. Well, now, so if, if I wanted to go somewhere and, you know, I was on vacation yeah. and, I, and I went and found like a really cool sculpture and I thought, oh, I'd like to remember that forever. Um, I just take like a hundred pictures of it from all over every single direction. Yeah. yeah. Load it. What do I do? Upload it? Do I process it on my own computer? How does it? How does it work? You have two solutions. So first one, first you take a, a series of photos. So please make sure you take a photo every roughly every five degrees. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you make a complete three hundred and sixty around an object, mm -hmm. that you will end up with 50, 60 photos. Yeah. Do you think On you it? could stand still enough for me to do that to you? Uh, I uh, don't think so. <laughs> And then either you use Recap 360, which is a prof professional version, or you use 1 to 3D Catch, which is which a consumer. Is the consumer I just a perfect segue for him to stop talking. And that, <laughs> right. that, was, that was beautiful. I mean, you, you blocked him earlier, and he just nice. elegantly yeah. passed yeah, it on right. into it is, you. Yeah. <laughs> Should I feel bad about that? Yeah, no, I, was I wish I don't. <laughs> okay, great. Awesome. I didn't understand anything he said anyway because he has such a beautiful accent. Right, oh. yeah. Like, <laughs> I was just paying attention to the accent. And I'll speak fast, so only subtitles. Anyway, <laughs> so, well, yeah, so, so Dominique, thanks for, for the segue. So, yeah, then we have 1 to 3D Catch, and we're talking about consumers or pretty much everybody else, non professional, right? Which yeah. is probably 99% like of the rest right. of the like me, universe. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. and you, yeah. actually, you. So, you on vacation, in many. In many cases, you may have just something like mobile device, mm -hmm. could be an iPad, could be Android device, could be my phone, which is not with me because it's taking pictures of these most memorable <laughs> events right now, right? So in that case, we, we lead you on the whole, whole capture, so we tell you exactly where to stand on the pictures, which will be pretty much better than oh, so you get like a, five degrees. You get a guide oh. and, yes, and, yes. and you're working us through the yeah. process, kind of right. like a, a tutorial. So almost. I just do what I'm told, yeah. which is like just like the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so what you get then is um, the capture goes back to your iPad. So it's not about sitting down anywhere and uploading pictures. In okay. this case, it's just a mobile solution. And it's pretty right? like, I mean, so yeah. you've got Han Solo, you've got Han Solo on I your iPad. I got the same Han Solo after around 25 pictures. Wait, oh, so oh, you 25 didn't, pictures? You didn't steal his, his pictures to make that. You took pictures with the iPad? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, okay. yes. So, I mean, less resolution than, than the course. professional solution, uh, definitely. Yeah. So uh -huh. there's a definite clear line in which what kind of things you want to do with, this, mm -hmm. with the information. But if you just want to post it to Instagram. <laughs> but in my case, or just being on vacation and taking something, or, or, or maybe, you know what, that's a challenge. Uh, capture your head and have the John Solo in Carbonite. Nice. Laser. John oh, Solo. Oh, John Solo. John Solo in Carbonite. That would be awesome. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be good. We would like all. We yeah, should we would like it. have you in carbonite yeah. and frozen. I know forever. that would be a better. That would be an improvement, <laughs> I, wouldn't it? I, I, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about. She paid you to anything. do that. Didn't you? She paid you to say that. I, I get a commission after <laughs> yeah, this. Yes. Yeah, right. okay. okay, so now if I can move to to, to that stuff. Oh, okay. Because the one thing is that if you can see here on on sorry, if I was <laughs> switching all the time, but the the image comes with a lot of information that I may yeah. or may not want to have, which is all this part here. But it's uh -huh. all on the so, computer. You yes. can cut that out. Well, I mean, no, once, you can still. Can you? How close can you zoom in on him? I can zoom in pretty well. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh. Again, the subtlety—the so, subtlety that they can, we can get on on the professional side yeah. is. I mean, this is even nothing compared to. Well, what of they course, can get. but still, yeah. I mean, like if all I wanted to do was, you know, if I was out and I wanted to show it to my family and share it and stuff, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, but now I want to. Oh, by the way, before you move on to that, can I share it? I mean, are these things yes, shareable? Yes, this is pretty much social. Okay, okay. so like. Right? 
We could like Almost I could, like, take it as 3D photography. Could I tweet it to somebody somehow? Can you I just can, tweet it publicly? I, I can share it, of course. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so all, yeah. the, all the normal sharing mechanisms. And but where of course, does it I, go? It has and to and go then you somewhere. can just search for things other people have done. Oh, cool. cool. Right? So, I mean, for example, I just brought Han Solo, and there's a lot of Han Solos on Carbonite <sighs> done by, by a lot of people. Don't, don't tell us that. There's, not, there's only yeah. one. Right. There, there can, can be only, only be one. one. Oh, oh, there can be only one. Favorites, for example, I, I, I was kind of hungry one day, and I captured some sushi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Nice. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that does. Now I'm hungry. I'm actually hungry now, now. I am never going to share... In, I'm never going to share photos again. Why would I do that when I can yeah. share three right. things? Just think exactly. of it as a street photography. Okay. And uh, but, but but yeah, I mean, the, the is, I mean, this is awesome. It's pretty cool. Okay, I have a 3D world captured in my mobile device. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh -huh. But now, what else can you do? Because that's only the starting point. Okay. Right? I got the data. What I can do with it? What can I do with it? So in this case, for example, I brought this into a product called Mesh Mixer, which is uh, from called what? Mesh Mixer. Mesh, Mesh mixer. mixer. Yes. Okay. It's AutoCAD product. Autodesk product. Oh, yes. Sorry, Autodesk product. <laughs> yeah, we use that. Many people make. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love AutoCAD. That's, I, uh, what, that's how all this we, started. It's all started you know, there. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna find anybody else <laughs> complaining about that. Uh, uh, and in this case, what I did is, how cool would it be to not only clean up? Han Solo, but uh, put it... Why is there a hole? Because it's a key tag. <gasps> it's got geek bean on nice. one side. Yeah, so now we can 3D print this thing. Oh, cool. So who wouldn't want to have a 3D print? Uh, I know, I lives. do. I Dave want wants one. Okay. Hey, it's a 3D printer. You can print multiples and of them, right? So, so in here in Mesh Mixer, which is available uh, for Windows and Mac, so Mac App Store or just uh, on Windows. Oh, How sorry, much does it cost? Z zero, as you would say, zero. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, yeah. Okay. So it's on one two three app .com. You can find uh, both uh, Mesh Mixer for one, Mac two, and, okay. and, and PC. And uh, this is not the only thing you can do with Mesh Mixer. You can do much more. So just as a that's kind of a little show, other things that can people have it done because we have the Dia de los Muertos in not cool. in a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Or days, actually, right? So somebody made. Actually modeled and sculpted wow. this call. They built that in Mesh Mixer. Yes, all okay. completely without any other application. Starting from a head, and 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 they did this, or and it's a free app. And so it's the same. And you free can app. print that out. And you can print that out. And actually, I printed that in bronze, which was perfect. Wow. And yes. uh, and something but like you this. Printed Wait. in bronze, colored in bronze. plastic. You mean bronze, 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 bronze. Is but not a, like bronze. In, in bronze, metal. Like yes, how yes, you, metal. That's a whole different story. Oh. You print For it another metal. day. Okay. Oh, <laughs> teaser. He's a teaser. Yeah, I'm a teaser. And uh, or this one. I mean, I just wanted to have my own Air Tulu uh, <laughs> nice. shark squid uh, airplane. So nice. you can just put put things together. So yeah, why which not? is which is pretty fun. I mean, because at the, at the end of the day, especially thinking about consumers, right? Again, not professionals. Professionals, at the end of the day, have to make money with something yeah. and do something for a very specific reason. We do things because we can. Uh -huh. <laughs> have you heard that before? <laughs> yeah. That's the way he works. <laughs> yes, you're right. So, 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 yeah, you could think about something like this. You may want to 3D print it. You may just want to make afterwards a rendering of this and just make a poster or whatever. And uh, so Mesh Mixer is amazing for that because you can get all that data from, from CAD, for the, all that mesh, right, uh -huh. that set of triangles, and... Uh, just clean it up and do something interesting, serious, or just have fun with it, right? So, That's by the way, awesome. Terry A said 3D sugar skull. Cool. <laughs> Printed in, in sugar, sugar, like yeah. a, a food printer. We, you we, know? we can talk about that later too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but this is just one one aspect of what we can do. Um, there's there's another pretty amazing. By the way, we also have a Memento software that. Can <laughs> not near as cool as mine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's, there's something else here called Tinkercad. So let me explain a little Tinkercad? bit about Tinkercad. Like I'm tinkering with stuff. Yeah. Like I'm tinkering In with CAD. CAD. And the audience here is pretty much all ages. We, I found, I mean, I made workshops with six, seven-year-olds. In which it's it's and not they that they do it better than the adults, don't they? I'm sure they do. They do. Yeah. 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 They, they do. It's just it's it's very it's simple to sh sh teach them the tools. It's more difficult to keep them in attention, but <laughs> is, the, is the plan to get them started on Early. like uh, Tinkercad and then move them straight to Recap? Is that the plan? 
Yeah, at some point. <laughs> uh, this is exactly what we call reality computing. You started from reality that you scan, then you computed something yeah. different, okay? And then you 3D print it. This, so we are creating some kind of experience here. This is exactly a reality computing workflow. Okay? Yeah. So it applies to consumers. And then at some point when they are good with these kind of tools, they will switch they to step it up. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and some people may want to step up because they will eventually become architects, engineers, uh -huh. industrial designers, or whatever, Sculptors, right? Sculptors. Sculptors. Right. Uh, but I mean, we are, all, we are not all designers, but we're all creative, mm -hmm. right? So if we are all creative, let's get the right tools for, for each person, right? Yeah. So for many people, it's this kind of stuff, right? So uh, in this case, what I did on Tinkercad, which is completely web-based, so there's no plugin, nothing. You just go to http.tinkercad.com and you, and you can just make an account. Uh, but that's free. Han Solo with your name on this it. This is Han Solo, which I just grabbed the same file nice. that I, I did in Mesh Mixer, okay. right? I grabbed the back of the uh, key tag that I, that I got from, from you guys, uh -huh. and uh, then I just put that in a frame uh, using this, <laughs> this kind of objects, right? So right. Th the thing here is that a, a consumer, just, just somebody non-professional, doesn't understand the abstraction of free modeling that, that well, right? Uh -huh. But everybody understands how to put maybe a box together with something else, something like that, right? Sure. So this is what we are trying to do here. And in this case, I added a text. Now, if somebody just clicks on the text, they can, in this case, let's You know say, what? This is like a name badge almost. I, I don't wear name badges. I hate name badges. But, but this would be had, the most amazing name badge. If I had badge. this, yeah, that would be, I would change you would have my this position. By the end yeah. of yeah. the day. Oh my God. And the thing here have is I, that. Have I told you I love you? <laughs> <laughs> is it captured? <laughs> Twitter. And, uh, I, I, and, I love, I love you. Yeah. And uh, this, is, this is a public file, meaning that anybody, like anybody, uh -huh. All you guys there on the on the, on chat. the chat room, yes, and everybody else in the universe. Wait, they can Daleks, get it? In, Daleks included. Daleks, in, <laughs> Daleks included. Wow. Yes. wow. Yes. So they can actually get get the. the so this. you're gonna have this Wait, on the you're store. gonna make the you're putting the Han Solo keychain up there so people can print them themselves. Yes. So they can have to come here, just click on the name, nice, change it, and then, for example, let's say that that somehow a Dalek gets into this. Uh huh. So. <laughs> Exterminate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there you go. Right. Oh, yeah. So, so cool. now the only thing that they have to do is go to here, download for three D printing. Wow. And or it, and or prepares the file yeah. for a three D printer, yeah, exactly. whatever you have. Or just exactly. in case, download for Minecraft. Yeah. Oh. What? We can take any model from Tinkercad Minecraft. into Minecraft into your, into your own Minecraft world because I'm assuming you have one. Very cool. Nice. You have we one, need. Right? A, you, actually, you I do think, have one. Right? I think John, we do don't, have don't disappoint. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> wow, this yeah. is this is all really really cool. Is there anything else we're missing? Because I want to How let you go, you? Yeah. and I want you to start printing that for me. And uh, I I don't I'm I know we have other people that we're going to talk to, but I don't I just want to go play with uh, Tinkercad and Mesh Mixer. I know Mesh, mesh I know. Mixer. Mesh Mesh. Yeah. That's hard to say. Mixer. Mixer. And recap, recap, yeah. Mesh Mixer. Mesh Mixer. Well, first mesh I have mixer. to start with those and work my way up we to have recap. To, uh, recap. Yeah. You know, I got to see. Oh, it's uh, Recap360 is also an automatic process, so you can. Oh, so I don't even really. Be, it's kind yeah. of oh. even you could do it. Even I could do it. Oh. Just take a bunch of pictures, yeah. upload them. Yeah. Bang, Very 3D cool. model, high yeah. definition. It has to do with what you want to do with, with the whole yeah. thing at the end of the day. It's, yeah. uh, it's not that we are fighting here. No, no. no of course not. Hand hand. <laughs> <laughs> we know each other for so many yeah, years. Yeah, too many, too, too many, maybe. Uh, <laughs> and uh, but yeah, so the whole idea here is that 3D is democratized, right? The access to the tools, so all the software, by the way, free, again, zero uh -huh. cost. Learning the software is pretty Except simple. for maybe not. Yeah, but Re recap wow. is not that free, but yeah. anyway. <laughs> This, this side of the house. This side, is, this, this side of the house. Exactly. Hey, I'm giving free stuff away over here. You know? But it can do so much for us, so little cost. So. Right, there yeah, you yeah. go. There, the excellent value. Excellent value. Cool. The, the well, value proposition is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but this is the point. I mean, right now, and it's not that everybody will have a 3D printer at home, but a 3D printer will be very available, very accessible for anyone. Yeah. And you can, even, be, you can use... Uh, 3D printing services, services too, yeah, and just yeah, whatever you, you want. Have you, have you can do it directly from here. All the 3D prints, and it will just go to 3D hubs or through there you go. Yeah. Shapeways, any there of those. So again, 3D printing is becoming ubiquitous. Not because you may have one, have one in your home, which you may, because they're getting cheap and good. Just because it's available yeah. all over the place. Yeah. So the first step for that is to bring 3D literacy, let's say to everyone, right? And products like Tinkercad or Mesh Mixer or, or the 3 line in general are a great first step. Yeah. Which yeah. may maybe your ultimate step if you want to stay there or maybe just an on-ramp to 
the professional retail. side, yeah, if you be, want to become yeah. a yeah. little more sophisticated users. So that's pretty much the story. And as you can see, we kind of love each other somehow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, guys, when we're going to uh, we're gonna go sing Kumbaya now. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And, uh, Thank you guys so much. You guys will be able to get all the links to everything that they talked about at geekbeat.tv slash 3D Palooza. Be sure to thank them for coming out and doing all of this over the last couple of days. Yeah. Use the hashtag 3DRV on Twitter or Google Plus or Facebook. Okay, go do your homework. You got some software to download. All right. Send us your models. We'll see you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.